All right, fun video for you guys today. I'm gonna be replacing these old broken and brittle dryer and exhaust vents. The hardest part about this entire job is probably gonna be getting the old silicone off the brick. All right, so I found that the easiest way to actually do this is just with a flathead screwdriver. These should come right out. Some will be screwed in. If it's not screwed in, they should come out. Holy moly! Don't forget to always wear your safety glasses when you're demoing things. There are some little screws in there. I wouldn't have been able to get these out because the mortar was put in after. I will have to remove these before sliding my new piece in. Anybody living in there? I mean, that's the importance of having a guard on the bottom. You do not want rodents getting into these places. This is obviously the best time to really get in there and give those vents a good cleaning as well. You've measured your pipe four inches, you've gone to the hardware store, bought the four inch vent cap, but you come home and guess what? It doesn't fit properly. By all means, you can absolutely load up this gap with silicone if you want, but I'm not doing that. I'm gonna modify this vent cap. You see where that plastic sticks out just a little bit further than the frame? So my plan is to either use an X-Acto knife or a Dremel or maybe some snips, and I'm just gonna cut this piece of plastic back so that everything is nice and flush. The snips were definitely the way to go to cut through that hard plastic. I was just careful that I didn't cut too much because I wanna keep those tabs that let me attach my tailpiece. So you can see now that everything is gonna sit nice and flush on the wall. I'm gonna grab my silicone and get this installed. And the toughest decision of all, what color silicone? One last thing while we're addressing vents. This is the furnace and the hot water tank vent. Make sure you have the little grates installed. That's gonna prevent rodents from getting in these ones. 